YouTube how are you guys it's been a while a lot has changed um, a lot of life updates those who follow me on TikTok and Instagram um, probably already know but anyways I'm not here to bore you with all of that in today's video I just want to cover um, pretty much most if not all the questions that I have gotten about the accelerated nursing program so please 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 stick around this just a heads up will probably be a long video I may have to break it up in two parts so feel free to watch it at like two times three times ten times the speed that's fine but please 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 watch it just so that you are aware because like i said these are questions people keep asking me as always feel free to like subscribe share blah 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 but anyways let's get into it okay so the first question is how much is tuition so the short answer I do not know um, I honestly would have to be like a really super smart computer to have all that information downloaded in my brain um, but I can tell you where and how to get that information the best the only the most certain way to get that information is from the school's website like plain and simple now some schools have what they call like um a tuition calculator or a tuition estimator um whereby you go in and you put in your information and it'll be able to like generate um the tuition or the fee or at least an estimate so i will um just show you that right now okay so the example i'm gonna use today is mcmaster university the accelerated nursing programs offered at the mcmaster site and they do use the fee or the cost estimator so you want to put in what type of student you are whether that that's international uh, put in the program and it's usually full time and then you want to select you know if you're on or off campus and it's going to generate i believe for now it's about forty eight thousand. um now let's try a different university this is western university i don't think they use a fee estimator but they do have like a chart it's given like 2022 to 2023 um this gives you like an idea of like what the tuition is like but feel free to you know check around for um previous years as well and as you can see it tells you the tuition um for the third and fourth year for domestic or international students and it also gives you the tuition for the summer semester because there's usually like a summer semester um in between so yeah look around the second question that i get is can I apply to the accelerated nursing program before I take the prerequisites or do I need the prerequisite courses before I apply? The short answer is you need it. You need the prerequisite courses before you apply. These are part of the requirements. Like you, rec you need it before you apply. That's just, I'll just leave it at that. Um, the third question is I took certain courses in my country um does it count or um my gpa is this 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 does it count can i apply i'll be honest i have no idea i went to school here in canada so i only know the canadian um educational system or you know um, some people have reached out to me saying, oh, I had like a third class upper or second class lower. I don't know what that means. However, someone told me about this. Okay, I never used this because I schooled in Canada. But there is a website called WES. I believe it stands for World Education Services. I will put all the links below. Um, but pretty much 
you can go there to get like an equivalency of what your degree is um, or how it translates to the Canadian system or the US system. So yeah, you could just go on Google and type in WES, World Education Services, and this is pretty much what the website looks like. Again, I never used this. Someone just told me about it, so I figured I'd just share it. So you can pick if it's US or Canada that you're looking to get the um, the equivalent. And yeah, so you could just read through it. I believe this is for like if you want to use it for immigration purposes. Um, and... Mm -hmm. The next question is, this is actually like a very interesting, I, I think it's a very smart question, but someone asked me, um, so I've seen like some of the prerequisite courses say like three units versus six units. Um, some of them say like 0 0.5 units um, or 1.0 unit, like what does that mean? Let's get into it. Okay. okay, so I'm sure some of you have seen this. Some say three units, some say six units. So in each university in Canada, a course um, has a weight. So the units is basically just the weight. Most courses are three units. And three units usually just translates to like one course. So like one um, statistics course or one anatomy course or one mathematics course, depending on what you have. And then six units just means two anatomy courses or two um human physiology courses now it wouldn't be canada if there's no curveball some universities don't go by the three units or six units some go by one and 0 0.5 but it's pretty much the same thing so 0 0.5 just means like one course and 1.0 means like two courses um but yeah that's pretty much it make sure you stick around for um a part two because i would just um do a part two Yay!